Hi, on this video I'm gonna go over the smart analysis and the camera menu located at the top of the screen. This is the new ENS interface from ENS Security. If you would like to learn more about the file management, playback and live view, please refer to the previous video part 1. Part 2 will show smart analysis and camera. So let's begin. Let's go over smart analysis. Under Smart Analysis, here it will show you the GPU usage that you're using for AI functions. Right here, if you have AI cameras, it will tell you how much you're using of the GPU or CPU of the cameras. In this example, I have no cameras connected, so I have zero usage. Now let's go under Smart Search. Under Smart Search, you have Human Body Detection, Vehicle Search, and under vehicle search, you can search for a license plate. Let's go back to body detection. Body detection, you can select which day of the week or custom, as well as the month and date and the hours and the event type. Once you click start search, it will show you the results the same way as the file management. For example, like this. This is an example of how the files will display under Smart Analysis. On this example, I don't have a smart camera connected, but it will show you in that specific format. So now let's go under Counting. Under Counting, if I had a camera that does people counting, it will show you the results right here as bars. You can select which cameras have people counting, the date you want to select the results and you can export that data so you know how much traffic you're getting into the store or the business that you have now let's go under heat map under heat map if you have a camera that has heat recognition it will show you on the screen which are the areas with the most traffic this works best if you have a fisheye camera in a supermarket you can tell which aisles have the more traffic during the day or during the week. In here, you can select the weekly report, monthly report, or annual report, or you can customize the date. You can also export the data so you can keep track of how many customers or which aisles have more traffic. Let's go under camera. If you have IP cameras connected into the back of the NDR, it will display them here you can see a live preview of the cameras that are connected by just clicking the play button this is a live camera now you can custom add the camera the system will automatically find the IP cameras in the network you can select which IP cameras you want to connect and then you can put the password you can also delete the camera that you want to delete but first you can select the camera and then you can delete the camera. You can also export this information if you have another NBR system, or you can also import that information from another NBR. Let's say you're swapping the NBRs, you can export the information from the old one and import it into this new NBR system. And that will make it a lot easier for you to configure the IP cameras. Under more settings, you have the H.265 auto switch configuration. This will turn all cameras to H.265 for initial access. This can also save you bandwidth. Then you have your upgrade. If you select the camera, then you go to more settings and select upgrade. It will upgrade the IP camera automatically. The system will find the latest version and it will update it for you. Then you got protocol. Protocol, this is if you want to connect to the camera using RTSP. Here on the bottom, it shows you the example of how to access that IP camera. For example, RTSP, the IP address, the port, the channel, and then the video stream. Here, you can also change the default port. Now, let's go under channel default password management. Here, 
This is the password or the default passwords that the MBR would try to put into the IP cameras that are connected. For example, if you have an old MBR unit and the password for each IP camera is different than the default, you can just select change password and this password will be the one that the MBR will use to connect to the IP cameras. So when you connect the IP camera, the camera will display automatically like plug and play. Next to it, you have the large. This will display the large thumbnails or small thumbnails. And then on the right hand side, you can select by the list or by thumbnails. Now let's go to PoE settings. Under PoE settings, this tells you how many watts you're using on the MBR system. You can also change the settings if you have a long distance cable run, you select long distance PoE. Right now, I'm using only 4% of my PoE switch. If I have more cameras, this percentage will go higher. Now let's go under display. Under display, this is how the IP camera shows in your main live view screen. You can change the settings from here, for example, the on-screen display, the image settings. All of these settings, the MBR connects to the camera and gives you those settings directly from the camera. You got your exposure, day and night, backlight, and image enhancement. Some of these menus may not be available but that is because your camera may not have those. If you want to make any changes here, once you click apply, it will display on the main screen. So now let's go to privacy mask. Under privacy mask, you can select four different areas to have it as private. You can simply draw in this area and then you can select another area and another one and another one. And this tells you the color differences of those four areas. You can also clear them all. Now let's go under encoding parameters. Encoding parameters, these are the settings how the camera will record the video onto the MBR. For example, I can choose from the resolutions of the camera. If I had a higher megapixel camera, the resolutions will go a lot higher. This example is just showing you a 2 megapixel IP camera. Then the bitrate, variable or constant, and then the video quality, you can select it from medium to the highest. As well as the frame rate, the bitrate, the maximum bitrate, and then the video encoding. You can also enable video encode H.264 or H.265 if the camera supports it. Under the substream, this is how the camera record under substream meaning when you're watching it remotely and you have more than one camera in your screen. This is the resolution that you will see it remotely and also under live when you have more than four cameras on your live screen. Under capture, this is how the system captures the thumbnail or a screenshot of that camera. You could change the resolution for your capture. And this concludes the quick walkthrough of smart analysis and cameras. Don't forget to click the like, share and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you.